morning from a very drilly, noisy house. Can you hear all that noise? We're at the top of the house now, and I think, oh, that's a lot of drilling going on. That's a lot of drilling. Ooh, the bathroom is looking snazzy. Look at this. I've just been for a workout in the corner, so I figured I would come and see what's going on. Let's go take a look downstairs and show you what's going on. So my bathroom upstairs has arrived. And this is all open now, which is so cool. And so this is getting closed off, ready for some beautiful French doors. There is a lot going on. My toilets have arrived. My beautiful Thomas Crapper toilets. And look what has come for the bathroom. Today is the day. It's a very big day. It's a very big day for us. <laughs> the immediately out of home household of one. <laughs> and Duke, <laughs> that I get to go and pick out my dream kitchen. I'm so excited. Kitchen is something that I just get so excited about. I think it's the part of the house that I've always dreamt about doing and planning. And I, I think I just know what I want so clearly from my kitchen. There's a company that I got really close to using um, when my ex and I bought a house together. And I was so close to my dream kitchen and now I feel like I can actually, I can touch it and I can reach it and I can grab it and it's there and I'm gonna have my dream kitchen and I'm so excited. It's a family run business in London. The people that I've chosen to do my kitchen who I love, obviously I met them last time when I was planning my kitchen. They're called the Delays, they have a company called The Woodworks and the showroom is in Mill Hill. I think they're opening up one in Ascot soon. So I'm gonna go to their showroom Mill Hill because last time when I went two years ago, it's just, it's so much easier to visualize and see things, see different examples, feel different things. It's, it's never the same when you look online or where you pick different woods or different um, countertops or colors or anything. So I'm gonna go see them. I'm so excited because last time I remember going to the showroom, it was just so cool. It's like multiple different kitchens. You just get to see so many cool features. So I was really excited to go and hopefully bring you and so you can see all the cool stuff too. So I'm gonna go meet Josh this morning. who's gonna help me talk me through everything in the kitchen. What we basically did is they came, they measured up downstairs and they've put together a plan of what they would think is the best kind of layout and everything for the kitchen, which I'm so excited about that because I just really trust them. And maybe they'll have like a couple different configurations or maybe we can swap stuff around or whatever, but I know that my kitchen is in great hands. I've kind of given Josh like a rough idea of what I kind of envisioned and how I would walk through my kitchen and cook and everything like that. Anyway, so let's go home. Let's get out of this building site and get ready to go to the woodworks. It's dream kitchen day. I'm so happy and excited. The aircon in the car is making my eyes water, but I could actually cry with excitement. Dream kitchen day, yay. So, already picked the kitchen color. I'm in a very hyper mood today because I'm so excited, which is Farinborn Ver de Terre because we've just picked out the scheme for the ground floor which is all the kitchen, living room, dining room area. So that so far is what I know. And I know that I love a shaker style kitchen. And I'm just excited to kind of see the different options that- What's a shaker style? style? Shaker style is like old school, basically. Oh, like right. Like even old school. Basically, I feel like whenever you say, we pick this, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you're over in a couple and I, <laughs> me and, and I, Pia and I, <laughs> he's like I didn't consent to this shaker kitchen <laughs> me and Pia have picked a shaker kitchen I don't know if you'd actually like shaker I feel like really? you're a bit more modern I am a bit more modern like your kitchen you facetiming me in this morning mm. is more modern I feel yeah. like that's more you that is much more yeah. modern I'm minimal and like no yeah like you would have no edges no like yeah. no like if you could have like the press thing not handles yeah but I do yeah. like like Frenchy modern twists, do you know what I mean? So yeah. it has a bit of character. But I yeah. do, yeah, I do like a bit of character, not like I'm walking into a soulless yeah. den. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want something. No, there. just like all flat. Yeah. Like a bit of rounded. Mm. <laughs> bit of ridges. Anyway, this is clearly half my kitchen now as well. So. <laughs> Pierre and I have chosen a wonderful kitchen. <laughs> and hopefully they should have some 3D renders. For us to see. Again? For us? Sorry. <laughs> okay, well, it would be it weird. It sounds like it. It would be weird if you came with me and I didn't show you them. 
Oh I think God. you'd be a bit offended. <laughs> When we designed it, we were like, oh, I don't know how practical this is going to be. It's like a, you know, curved doors and stuff, but it's worth it. Yeah. I'm here with you know. Josh at the Woodworks, ready yeah. to go. We literally sat down. He's like, right, let's get straight to it. And he's printed out all these beautiful renders. There we go. They're like amazingly life size of my gorgeous, gorgeous kitchen. Look how pretty it is. Uh, basically, the, the space sort of designed itself. It was quite a narrow kitchen, so we didn't really have space for an island. Yeah. But what we've opted for is basically two runs, uh, so a galley kitchen basically, but a much more updated version. So we have um, this lovely base unit sections either mm -hmm. side, so you've got your hob with drawers either side, and then you've got your sink with your bin and dishwasher either side, and then that's framed by these tool units, so you get this nice symmetry and worked up space, yeah. and it's practical because you've got oven, hob, sink, everything's within within walking distance. I literally have nothing to change, it all looks so <laughs> good. Yeah, easy client. <laughs> We've gone for a traditional styling, so front frame kitchen, we need to discuss the door, te the door yeah. detail exactly, okay. but overall I think it, it looks really, really smart. I know, I'm really excited, really it looks cool, it's so cool to see it like so real looking. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking through my kitchen now. Like that looks so exciting. And I think that also you've got these it's nice easy to big visualize. windows. Yeah. You're going to have a, yeah. a nice lot of natural light on the end, which mm, will be really, really exciting. nice. Exciting. Okay, so I think cool. you can afford to go for a, a more interesting colour. Yeah. So these are obviously drawn in grey, but okay. because it's neutral and it's, yeah. it helps people visualise <laughs> We can go okay, for something cool. a bit more out there. is what a little taster of what you get coming to the woodworks showroom so many different finishes styles beautiful 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 kitchen so much just inspiration everywhere like every single thing is different it's just so exciting and you also get to visualize things like way easier like for example this fridge i can now visualize how big my fridge is going to be with the shelving unit at the top freezer everything just kind of becomes so much clearer when you're actually in the showroom and now the beautiful dreamy dreamy kitchen in the woodwork showroom i love these shelves i love coming into these showrooms because they always have such good ideas that's so beautiful that looks so nice okay talk me okay so different sink options okay. so this is a clad sink so it's coarse work top yeah. And the inside of the sink is also clad in quartz. This is quartz, not this is marble. A quartz, exactly. Oh wow, it looks so But it has the veining of a, a, yeah. of a marble, but it's a man-made material. Yeah. And then it's got a stainless steel base, but yeah. the sides are clad that, in, oh, in, in I stone. See. Um, but That's in terms so of nice. your biggest worry yeah. about uh, being yeah. street marks and being clean, mm -hmm. you still have the drawback of a stainless steel base. Yeah. So, but it's nice to see this option. Yeah, 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 for sure. No, it's popular. We've done it quite a few times. Because then when you look at it from afar, you don't really notice the stainless exactly, steel. Exactly, exactly. Which is cool. And then the other option um, is, again, it's very similar. This is a Corian, so the worktop is actually formed out of the worktop material. Now, is this heat proof? No, this is the least heat proof of all of them, yeah. But this is quite clever because if you do burn it, scratch it, yeah. whatever it is, you can actually have it sanded and Push back down. Oh, yeah, because it just looks so. Weird. So you won't see any join lines yeah. anywhere because of that. Yeah, and that's why they can nice. the sink, mold the sink out of it. So you wanted to have hot, cold, yeah. and boiling water, but you also wanted yeah. a spray, a hand, a hand rinse. So this is the only option that does all three. So it's a Kuka flex tap. So you've got normal hot and cold. Yeah. You've got a pull out and spray. Oh, that's cool. Or boiling hot water. Okay. Let's get this one spits a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's aerated and they'll tell you it's a safety feature so okay. that you know it's on. You know uh, it's if, yeah, if you put your hand near it, it's not yeah. going to actually... Yeah, but it's a bit... No, exactly. It's just to okay. make sure that you're Got in it. the clear if you do set it off by mistake. But this is a good safety feature. Yeah. I mean, I don't think any kids are pressing that and doing it by mistake. Yeah. But the other option is for something a bit more traditional and we said potentially a, Perrin, a lovely Perrin and Rotap which will have a normal hot and cold, yeah. a separate boiling tap and a separate hand rinse. Okay. Um, I think that's more the look of the kitchen that we're going yeah. for. 
I think so. I mean, this is really practical, but I think something prettier. Yeah, exactly. So that is really form over function. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that is that is useful. <laughs> if you have the space. So nice. Next <laughs> kitchen. Yeah. And the next one. What brand is this? Le Conch. It's so pretty. Yeah. So in terms of drawers, yeah. we said you're going to have three of these thinner top drawers, okay. and you've got options to have either cutlery utensils or spare. Yeah. Uh, because you've got three, probably one of each would make the most sense. So here we've got cutlery inserts. So yeah. you've got all sections for cutlery and a front fixed rail as well for any other okay. bits. But I think it makes most sense to be able to do one for utensils, which the rails come all the way through, so it's long for spatulas and stuff. Yeah. One for cutlery and then one spare for okay. tin four and for king pin, etc. In the colour, so it's going to be like this colour inside. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. But then will you see. You won't see the striation, okay. this is just the plywood. Okay. You'll see these on the edge here, you can okay. see the dovetails. That's how, just how it okay. comes together, but that is the colour okay. that you'll see, and you won't see okay. this. And then in your wall units as well, again, you've got glazed wall units. Yeah. So you have this glass, yours isn't ribbed, it's clear. Yeah. So you'll be able to see into the unit, and then you'll have which I think is lovely, yeah, that especially nice. with the green colour that you've chosen. Yeah. You'll see that internal, and then you've got lights as well, and glass shelves. Okay, so this is the colour of inside the drawers, all the internal stuff. This is going to be the surfaces, right? With a lovely the lovely moulded edge yeah. on the end. <gasps> Pretty, and where are we, yeah, we going? Ooh, Farrow and Brew Verdes nice. which I think is really nice, That's especially exciting. with the oak. Yeah. I think it's a really nice That's combination. That's going to look really nice. This. It's so beautiful. This is the kind of beading that we've gone for on the covers. So you can have a closer look at it. So when, when we say this is thick line, we're yeah. talking about the gap between the, the, the oven and the micro. So this is the test that you have, obviously, Mimo plants here. Okay. So here, so the strip line is slightly rather. This is 1200. Yeah. So it can be 1200 if you want, but just if you imagine using this, yeah. it's quite high. Yeah. So, so where is it on here? It's lower than that. Yeah, exactly. I've drawn out 100 mils lower. Yeah. So your, the top of your oven would be hit. Yeah. So the door would be. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so it's just a tiny bit lower. It's a tiny bit lower, exactly. You've got to just think yeah. the, the one thing to consider your, the microwave is a cool down like this. Yeah. So for you, you've got to make sure that it's a good height to be able to actually get yeah. stuff in and out. So yeah. a bit lower probably would be. Yeah. Better for you? Yeah. yeah. The thing with the slim dishwasher is, the moment you have people over, yeah. you're going to have to be fit right through no, those. It's such a nightmare. Oh, I have one on my flat, and it was like, it was just a nightmare. Oh, a 600, okay. if you can have it, yeah, it makes sense. Josh is now going to show me cool stuff in the Woodworks kitchen. Take okay, it away. So we've got these pocket doors. Oh Lord of dreams. We have a hidden coffee pod. Drawer. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. You have to be so organised to have this. It would really bother me if someone yeah. like, took one. <laughs> no, put it back. Yeah. <laughs> These are uh, Nespresso pod holes. Yeah. Obviously, if you have the Lungo version or if you've got Dolce Gusto, you could just change the, them. Make the sizes oh, bigger. Exactly. Cool. Oh, I love these doors. So, if you wanted to have it open, or if you're messy like me, you exactly. can just be like, you can hide the mess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The styling is yeah. a bit more modern, but yeah. I like this. rather than opening it manually, you can put it on the servo drive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, it opens manually. <laughs> Does everyone have that reaction? You just stand yeah, there like, hee hee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like the Lamborghini of kitchen. Right? Yeah. Press the button and then it closes for you. Closes that itself. is snazz. That is snazzy. So oh, I haven't been around here. If yeah. If you're stuck for socket space yeah. on the worktop and you don't want unsightly sockets yeah, on the back, they are a bit you can unsightly. cut them into the worktop. So this really clever thing called an S-Box. They cut a piece of the stone out to match, yeah. to cover it. And then it pops out of the worktop. Oh my yeah. gosh. Perfect for charging my phone or hand lens that or whatever so you're using. I've never seen it like so discreet. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> oh my gosh, you actually wouldn't notice that it's there, look. Oh, that is cool. So uh, <laughs> quite a new thing that we've got in here. People are increasingly concerned about car thefts and don't know where to store valuables. So we've got this new uh, chug safe that's built into a unit. So you don't really know, oh it's quite discreet. Gosh. It's a fingerprint scanner <gasps> underneath and then it opens oh RFID blocking so that you put your car keys there at night no one can steal your car that yeah. is close the drawer look at the actually fingerprint just, like, you, know. you would never know that was there and it's insurance that's rated that's a safe so, that's a safe it's a very safe safe yeah <laughs> you don't want to put a whole washer on yeah. you can just put one drawer at a yeah. time 
Um, so there's the first draw and the second draw, and you can put them on completely independently, or you can put them both on together. Oh, so clever. And then there's something else that's rather clever over here. This yeah. is a fridge drawer that can be multi-temperature. So you can <gasps> either use it as, no. a, as a fridge, or you can use it as a freezer, or you can use it as a drinks fridge, all different temperatures. So it can, it's a fridge or a freezer or a oh drinks fridge, God, because you can so change clever. the temperature. And it's an ice maker as well. The ice pops into here if you want it to be. Because I always think like vodka's not cold enough, and then I put it in the freezer because I like too cold. Yeah, too cold. Yeah. So, well, this could be vodka you, specially. You get a lot of vodka. Climate controlled yeah. specifically yeah. for vodka. Um, Sponsored by White wine, <laughs> red wine, whatever. And literally, it's <laughs> completely safe. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you literally, want to yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Also, if you want that atmosphere, but like you have kids. And exactly. It's a safe whatever. thing. Exactly. Like, yeah. I think that's a great thing. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Is that like crackling? Yes. Yeah. You can either have the crackle on or off. If you want the crackle on, you can put it on. It's funny. It's you were made for QVC, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a cool picture? It's yeah. so cool. Do you have big, I need to know, do you have big family debates on like the next showroom kitchen? Yes, but I don't But Don's my nice. saying, <laughs> to be honest with you. On, on, color, on colours, yeah, very yeah. much so. See the authority on colours and, and colour schemes. And work top for yeah. what goes with what. In, in terms of bins, obviously yeah. most bins pull out. Yeah. If you've got stuff on your hands and you don't want to get the covers dirty, yeah. I've got this always think about that. <gasps> sensor on the bottom of the unit that kicks the bin out basically. Oh my god. Gets it started. So cool. uh, oh, you've got to lift that up. Lift, no, lift that up. Yeah. In the middle, <laughs> in the middle. Here, where the light is. Scanning your shoes and yeah. you know. Thank you! Oh, see you soon, baby! <laughs> that was so fun! Oh my god, that was so cool. I feel like I need to debrief. Like when I'm in max decision making mode, I feel like I switch off and I just focus on making that decision. I noticed when I was watching the house decision making like vlog when we were doing all the mm. interior design stuff, that I just like I speak very like monotone. I'm very like flat because I'm just like, <laughs> okay, focus. That was so cool. I love firstly how fun are the delays? That it's was so, so cool. Great. And it's so cool to be able to see everything and like pick stuff as and when you're there. Like, look at this. Look how cool that is. That's gonna be my little kitchen. Wow. Isn't that exciting? Look at this one. Oh my God, that is so I love cool. the apples. <laughs> I know, like so decking the little Aesop. It's not gonna be this color, but you get the gist basically from this, which is so exciting. Oh yeah, that's if you're looking at it this way. So that's where the living room is and you're standing in the dining room here. And this is if we're standing in the living room looking through. So you have the kitchen and the conservatory. They've even put a little table and chairs there. The only two things we have left to pick, we picked everything, the colors, the internals, the sink, everything we did today. We just literally went through everything super, super organized with Josh and Donna. The only two things we have left are taps and handles. Now I've seen these handles, which are little bows. Rebecca actually showed them to me. They're so cute, but I don't know if they do them in polished chrome because I obviously want them to match the tap. So I need to look into that. You can have them this way on drawers and you can have them that way too on cupboards. They're so sweet. And I also have little knot one. They're like little knots. They're actually like this earring, but in a tap, in a, in a tap, in a handle. They're like little knots and I just love them. So I kind of want that in it. That's really funny actually that I'm wearing that today. Anyway, my issue with that cooker tap that we looked at is that it's just quite ugly. But I know that they're really practical. There are some taps that they showed me today. Josh showed me from Perrin and Row, which are beautiful. Look at this tap. Oh. There's also, he showed me another one, which is, so this would be the hot tap, that one there. And then that would be the shower head because I really like a shower head in the sink. I make a lot of rice and the rice goes everywhere and I hate scooping the water in my hand and then like pushing it through like I do now. I'd rather just have a shower. But that would mean that I have four holes by my sink. So what do you guys think? Like this is much smaller and it would go to the side, but that would be one, two, and then the other tap, this one. Mm. Then this tap would be three, four. It's a lot of holes by a 600 mil sink. So that's 
two two big decisions to kind of make and look into today but all in all super productive and the best news is that the woodworks are going to josh actually used the term move mountains and i really know he moved mountains for me because they basically said on email that they wouldn't be able to fit until february and i called them and i was like please please can we fit before february please we actually hopefully we'll be able to fit the kitchen in drum roll december which is basically next month which is so cool they're british made their kitchens their factory is here in the uk and i've actually been there before so the guy said if I want to go and have a look at the kitchen being made I can which I kind of want to like I feel like that's really cool this is my first kitchen my first dream kitchen and I want to I want to be there for the birth you know it's like my baby so hello from the office I am just picking out a few little things from Perrin and Ro after the other day meeting with Josh I had such a great meeting with the woodworks team so I'm looking at a couple of different taps I just wanted to look at them online and then send them over to Josh and say this is what we're going with. I'm not sure about finishes yet in the kitchen. I'm not sure if I should do a chrome or if I should do an aged brass. I don't like anything too polished because then you can see fingerprints on it and it really bothers me. Right now I think I have an aged brass in my kitchen and I really like that because you don't see it's kind of really forgiving like you don't really ever see any fingerprints or issues or dirt or whatever on them which is why i like that aged look so this is the one josh showed me this is a little deck mounted situation which is beautiful i love how neat this little shower head is i think that's just gorgeous but then i also saw this which i think because my sink it's a 600 sink it's not super huge i feel like it might be nice to have everything a bit more compact and then I also saw this one which is the hot water tap so either you have the hot water tap like this or you could have it like that those are the two that I really like I just think that one looks really fun it looks really cool but I'll probably end up going with something like that because I feel like it would work better with this so what do we think here should we do a little aged brass or should we do oh that's a satin brass what's this polished brass definitely not not polished not gold I think bronze is possibly a bit too countryside for me, maybe a bit manly. Um, and then maybe a chrome. Hmm. It's Friday now. I'm going to sit on this for the weekend and come back to everyone about it on Monday. I hope you enjoyed seeing and coming along and picking out my dream kitchen with me. It's going to be in so soon, which is so cool. And I'm actually going to go to the Woodworks factory and go and see it being made because it's a British owned brand and British manufactured. I can actually go and visit my kitchen being made, which is a dream come true. It's just so exciting. I will leave links to everything I'm wearing, talked about, blah, blah, blah down below. I hope you're enjoying Vlogtober so far and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye guys.